Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, August 7th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. But first, I want to invite you to join me Monday, August 10th, for the monthly market outlook for August. Uh, we will do this uh, shortly after the market close at 4 o'clock p.m. Central, so please join me at pivotboss.ecofin.co on, on Monday, August 10th, 2020. Okay, let's take a look here at the ES. What you'll see right now is the ES remains very, very bullish. Uh, the very beginning of this month here so far has come right into uh, the pivot range here for the week and higher and you've seen this thing go higher throughout the week after taking the previous week's high and close bid this is something we talked about last week so if we rewind back to last week we had our FOMC key level here this right there is the uh, buy signal right there on a failed low you get a deep pullback the following day here and then that series of events after a narrow uh, range here has led to the expansive move to the upside reaching nearly as high as 3350 now so a very significant move that all began last week so the energy was here last week the expansive move was here this week and so far uh, we continue to see higher highs and higher lows day over day now can price continue to hold above the previous sessions midpoint that's around 20 threes so if price can continue to hold that zone for the day we could see another solid finish into the close so the previous sessions midpoint 33.23 a failure to hold that level could potentially open up an outside day down uh, again uh, after this many days up here without a down day we could be due for at least a one or two day pullback similar to this or maybe even that right the biggest we've seen here is kind of a, a four or five day pullback. But overall, this market remains bullish. We haven't gotten a test at the monthly pivot range just yet. So even a deep pullback as, as deep as 3250 could still be a continuation higher. Overall, this market remains very, very resilient until proven otherwise. And we still have those upside targets that we've been looking for down the road which are 3385 and 3538. Okay, let's take a look now at the NQ. What you're seeing right now in the intraday time frame, at least on the 60 minute charts for the ES and the NQ are uh, bearish sell, sell signals developing, rejection tails, pretty significant reaction here to a positive non-farm payroll number. Uh, again, we still have uh, about 15 minutes here as of this recording here for that signal to stick but if it sticks say if price were to close below 3330 in the ES and say if price were to close below uh, you know right where we are right now 10 uh, 11205 11200 that could suggest uh, a bit of a reversal to the downside remember the midpoints are going to be very important today 11 161 half here for the ES a failure to hold that level opens up the outside day down with a target down as low as call it 11k so we could be looking at quite a return back toward uh, the mean here after getting a pretty good expansive move away again last week we had this build up of range four days this is your rejection bar perfect midpoint retest at 10 7 and since then it's been straight up so again we've made the move over the last week now we likely see some pullback here next week that could lead us higher but overall this market now that it's broken through the top of the key range at 11.058 half any pullback again as deep as 11k maybe even a little bit lower could still be a move for that 11 uh, 7 level that we talked about before so when we mentioned that any pullback to 10.7 could be a buying opportunity of about a thousand points we still have half of that to go we're at 11.2 with a shot to go to 11.7 if we do get a pullback over the next day or two maybe just a one day shakeout there could be 11k to 11.7 still ahead to get that target at 11.723 okay let's take a look now at crude oil now crude oil here 
has been very very different in its action over the course of the prior month but what you'll notice here is at the end of July here and at the beginning of August we've got a significant increase of volatility here where price range has had been completely um, has risen here in terms of the five and ten day averages this market really hadn't been trading a whole lot toward the end of uh, June until you got that major shakeout leg once that shakeout leg occurred the 39.50, 39.70 zone held extreme reversal here and a big snapshot move up the one thing here is that uh, we had this key range that we were playing off of we've reached it now we may now have a new key range from this low to that high if we were able to get a pullback to the midpoint of that that zone if so that could be a tremendous key range to use moving forward but at the moment what we're seeing right now is an attempt to see a failed new low price popped on a box below s3 in the four minute time frame here and since then has, has rallied to hit uh, the previous sessions midpoint it's now dropping away from that level with a lower high potentially for the uh, second day in a row also lower lows here so again we may see a little bit of weakness to come down here and grab that midpoint but if price can continue to hold above the previous sessions midpoint uh, low which is uh, 4197 if it can continue to hold no it's not that's not that low it's 4161 so if it can continue to hold above 4161 we have a shot to remain bullish today and perhaps finish strong uh, otherwise a failure to hold that level opens up that midpoint retest that could be uh, that could seal in that key range the other thing we'll look at here lastly is gold futures this one has been a rocket ship higher incredible incredible strength out of this one 18k once it broke through 1820 1825 it's been straight up again reaching a high here today so far 2089 20 2089 20 just tremendous right now the other thing we talked about was adding extra extensions because of how important this range was how much energy was built and now it was starting to get the move the 100 percent target was clearly too quick we're now sitting at uh, the 150 percent target and then we have even higher here that's the 200 percent target 2211 could be the next major target above 2211 based off of this key range extension so right now very very strong market again this market is not one to be sold uh, any pullback is an opportunity to buy it but right now pullbacks are are very very rare failed new lows could be a way to go for example this failed low here provided a great continuation higher uh, these are two-day lows here if for some reason we get some pullback early next week that failed new low could slingshot this thing higher into 2211 down the road all right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Happy Friday. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And again, please join me Monday, Monday for the Monthly Market Outlook. That's August 10th at 4 p.m. Central Time. Again, would love to see you there. That'll be at the pivotboss.ecofin.co trading room. All right, everyone, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.